to address the nation. Thank you, stewards, uh, senators, members of the media. I'm Jambo. Well, uh, as uh, Honorable Stuart Mazayo, our leader in the Senate, has said, uh, this was a luncheon that uh, I hosted uh, to welcome the senators. As you no, know, recently we had a retreat in Mazoni with our members of the National Assembly and we discuss a lot of issues uh, affecting our country today. This afternoon we have had very cordial discussions with members of the Senate and uh, we have shared I'm happy to announce that our leadership in the Senate is now the leader the minority leader is Honorable Stuart Mazayo, deputed by Honorable uh, Senator Enoch Wambua from Kitui. And the whip is Honorable Ledama Olekina, deputized by Honorable Edwin Sifuna. That is our lineup in the Senate. This is because um, uh, some of officials who were there before have opted to now work with uh, the majority party in the Senate. And we want to be very focused. So we've asked our team to continue to uh, represent Azimio effectively in the House. Azimio stands for the defense of the people of Kenya, the interest of our people. Uh, in the House, and uh, we want to them to continue to articulate issues which are affecting our people uh, uh, right now. We have also talked about the challenges that this country is facing today, the issue of electoral justice that we have been talking about, and this is not an issue that is going to die until it is properly resolved. You have shown beyond any doubt that the elections were rigged. And it doesn't matter how many times Mr. Ruto shouts, how many times he prays, the prayer is not going to help him to get away with theft of elections. Kenyans must defend electoral justice. People fought for a long time to bring multi-party back to this country. And they are not going to surrender that again and take this country back to the dark days of single-party dictatorship, where elections are basically manipulated. Sometimes they are longer elections. We, but the people who have raised the issues that, why did you raise these issues in the Supreme Court? We are telling them that the same same Supreme Court denied that access to the server. When we took our case to the court, we demanded in the court to instruct the IBC to give, to, uh, give us access to the server. The service provider, the company Cost Mathematics, refused to allow us. They even wrote a letter which even the media has got saying that they cannot allow us into the server because that will infringe their property rights. But so after that time, we have ourselves been able to hire experts and get to the server. And we have exposed the information. We have shown the whole world the information, what is in the server. If they want Kenya to be led by a minority, fine, but Kenyans have to make that decision themselves. Do we wish to put these things under the carpet. Somebody got 5.9 million votes. Other person got 8.1 million votes. Those are the facts. Those are the facts which should not be swept under the carpet. We must defend electoral justice in our country. This is what we were told our members of parliament to do. And we will continue to urge Kenyans to wake up 
and defend the rights. This will not go away. And this is a right which nobody can take away from us. This week, you're going to be in Kisi on Friday. On Saturday, we are going to be in Kisumu. And then, we will also be doing a that we have and get an IBC which will defend the right of our people. And that prayer will be done in front of the premises of IBC sometimes next week.